So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this chair drawing. The first thing you wanna do is make a quarter inch border around the edge of your paper, and then you're going to make your title block. Your title block, the horizontal lines are one eighth inch of a part, and there are five of them. One, two, three, four, five. The vertical lines um, start by measuring three inches from the border. You go three inches over, three inches over, three inches over. So this last box winds up being a little bit smaller than the other three. So the first thing you wanna do for your chair drawing is measure over two inches from this border to get this line here. And you're gonna measure two inches over from this border to get this line over here, okay? You're also gonna measure one inch up from the title block, one inch up from the title block. And this line is three inches long, okay? So that's definitely where you wanna start, three inches long, three inches long. They should line up horizontally. So if I put my T-square like this, the bottoms should line up and the top should line up, okay? I am using this see-through plastic T-square because it's easy for you to see on video. When you are drawing in the classroom, you should be using a drawing board and you should be using the metal T-square along the edge of your drawing board. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do after that is you're going to measure a quarter of an inch Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, four little dot, uh, four little dashes. That gives me my next line. You're gonna do the same thing on this side as well. Okay, if you work on these two chairs at the same time, it makes it nice and easy. Same thing with the back two chairs. If you work on them at the same time, it makes it nice and easy. Okay, so according to my sheet, okay, this sheet has all of the measurements on it. My leg is going to be one inch high. So I'm gonna measure one inch high. I'm gonna put a little mark. The seat is going to be a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna put another mark, okay? Then I'm gonna measure this way, okay? One full inch and a half, and the length of the seat is going to be an inch and a half. I did this one already. So I'm gonna draw this line. Okay, I could erase this. Then you're gonna start taking some of these corners over to the vanishing point. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And on this one, you're gonna take this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner, all to your vanishing point. Your vanishing point is centered. So since my paper is 12 inches long, the vanishing point is where the six inches is. Okay, and that was from the edge of the paper, not the border. So I'm taking this corner. I don't know exactly how long these lines are going to be, so I'm gonna uh, draw them nice and light so that I could erase them. And I'm just gonna guess about how long they are just by using the sheet. Okay, so all these convergence lines are lining up with the vanishing point. I'm gonna come over to this one and do the same thing. Okay, so now on that sheet, it is showing you a measurement that says three quarters of an inch. That means this horizontal to this horizontal is three quarters of an inch when you measure it this way, okay? Do not measure those diagonals. You're measuring from horizontal to horizontal. So here is a quarter, here is a half, here is three quarters. I'm gonna put a mark. I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. I don't even have to really because if I just use the one measurement, they should line up. So if I go like this with my T-square, I'm gonna draw this one and this one at the same time. Okay, so now I see that this could get erased. Okay, and I drew it nice and light so my paper's not totally sloppy just from erasing. All right, I know that in this corner here, I'm gonna have a vertical. And these are horizontals. 
and I can draw them at the same time. Draw that one, draw that one, and then I'm gonna erase the excess lines. All right, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna start my legs. Okay, and you're gonna draw them a little longer than they have to be. And then you'll wind up erasing them. These are just vertical lines. All right, the first thing I do know is these two in this one and this one in the front, they're going to be the same as this one and this one. They're going to be a quarter inch wide. Okay, and they're also gonna be an inch long. So there's my quarter inch wide. Draw the verticals. So now this is an inch long, inch long, inch long, inch long. So these legs are almost done. Let's get the 3D portion taken care of. So in order to do that, I'm going to line this corner up with my vanishing point. Okay, this is gonna be about this big. And then I'm gonna also need this line back here for my back leg. I drew it very light because I don't exactly know where it is, but I want it there for when I get up to that leg. I'm doing the same thing with the front. Okay, I'm lined up with my vanishing point. I'm drawing a convergence line. And I'm gonna need this one back here too. So these are, legs are all lined up. This could get erased. Right, according to my measurement sheet, this is an eighth, this is an eighth, okay, and I'm measuring from vertical to vertical. It's just two little dashes. Okay, so now I have some more verticals that I'm going to draw. All right, so now I'm going to create these last four legs in the back, but I'm gonna start with this one in the, the front of the chair and this one in the front of the chair. It's in the, the background though, but this is like the front of the seat, this is the back of the seat, front of the seat, back of the seat. So we're gonna start with these two. Erase this. According to my measurement sheet, these are a 16th wide, okay, from vertical to vertical. And I'm gonna draw these verticals. Okay, once I have that, erase the excess of the convergence lines, and then you're going to draw horizontals and they should all line up. Okay, so this is a horizontal here, it hits this leg. This is a horizontal here. It's gonna hit this leg. Then you're taking the horizontal and you're adding it back here for this chair and you're adding it back here for this chair, okay? So all these legs are lining up because they're on the same plane. Once you get this corner shape, okay? And back here, you're getting the corner shape also. That's the corner of that leg. So that's where a vertical is going to go. That's a vertical line. This is a vertical line. To find out where this little part ends, you take this, this corner, line it up, put a little dot. That's where that one's gonna end. Same thing here, you take this corner, line it up at the vanishing point, put a little dot, that's where that one is going to end.
Okay, you could clean everything up with the eraser, outline it in pen, clean it up with the eraser again. But this is how you would draw the two chairs in the foreground.